Hi, I'm Jillian Jess with MouthpieceSports.com. I'm here with former White Sox player Bill Meldon. Bill, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I mean, what better place to be than out on a golf course, right? Right. We're here at Ron Kittle's golf charity event. How'd you get involved? Well, you, um, how did I get involved? I guess we all play in these things all summer long, and uh, I've been back here now about 15 years um, working with the Sox, and Ron's been running this tournament for, I guess, over 15 years. And I stopped playing in these about five years ago, but uh, Ron, you know, uh, works for the White Sox, and myself and Moose Gowan and uh, Dan Pasqua and Carlos May and, and all of us. It's, it's good to come out here. I mean, he has a good mix. What's it like being working and being involved with all those guys? Uh, well, I do all the White Sox games. I do the pre and post on Comcast, and I see all these guys and the active players. And um, I see so much of them, I can't wait to get out of here and go to Arizona so I don't have to look at them for the, re the rest of the winter. But... I see a lot of guys like Dan McNeil, uh, Yurkovitz, uh, the guys on the radio. He, uh, they got a mixture of basketball players here, baseball players, older players. Um, Jim Rivera is like 87 years old, Muscow 77. These guys are out still playing golf, but that's what sports is all about. What kind of feeling do you get, all you guys getting together for a great cause, this goes to a great charity, how does that feel? Well, I see most of these guys at the ballpark. I, I was in the baseball players alumni doing some of these about 20 years ago in California. And, Anything you can do to raise money, I think Ron's pretty well cemented here in uh, uh, this Indiana area. So he raises a lot of money here for uh, the hospitals or whatever his charity is. So, you know, most of us are friends of Ron. Ron played with the White Sox. He's in this community. And, and you know, it's pretty hard to have these tournaments go over five or six years. But I think this one might be in his 15th for all I know. That's a pretty special tournament when they can go that long. He runs these things pretty well. Yeah, he does. I, hey free golf. I mean, what can we complain about? You know, food and golf. And uh, uh, again, I see everybody. It's good that some of these guys don't see each other. They come to these tournaments, but I'm sure they have a lot more on their books for the summer. And well, I hope we miss the tornado today. I do too. Yeah. How's your golf game? Uh, my golf game is always the same. I enjoy being outside. I'm, I'm not a golf fanatic. I, I like playing. I like being outdoors. I play a lot in the winter. A lot for me is one time a week. I've been shooting the same score for 30 years. So I don't work on my game and it just gets a little tougher going around. You get a little bit stiffer. It takes a little longer to loosen up. And, you know, once a week's good enough for me. Right. The more playing, the more practice, the better. No practice. I'm done practicing. I practiced to learn how to hit. That was enough for me. We'll have fun out there today. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Bill. Alrighty. I'm Jillian Jeske, and you're watching MouthpieceSports.com.